Get ready for some vegan protein like you've never had before, friends. I'm excited for you to try this. Oh yeah. Hello and welcome to the Buse Kitchen. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make chilorio out of your favorite plant-based protein. Today I'm gonna to be using soy, and our soy looks just like these. Some of you call it soy curls, soy meat, but I call them soy crumbles. Soy crumbles. Well, we're going to show you how to And you're going to crumble at my feet. You think you're going to keep going? <laughs> you think you're going to keep going after I won the contest yesterday for the papas? Okay, friends, before we start this recipe, Cloud... Humble yourself! Uh, Cloud was... I stand corrected. Cloud was right about my sliced potatoes on yesterday's baked casserole. If you guys want to take a look at it, you can. You guys gave us your feedback on Instagram and... Um, I don't cloud. want to add insult or injury, but it was like a thousand one hundred and twenty-five to two votes. Yeah, it was a lot, and you know, I think it's from my mukbang days that everything just seems smaller than what it used to be. But I'll catch up, guys. Don't worry. But before Cloud begins over here to throw her party and her festivities over her winning, let's go over the rest of these ingredients. Soy crumbles or your favorite plant-based protein? Water, salt. Apple cider vinegar. And before we go over the rest of our ingredients, we're gonna start soaking and hydrating our soy crumbles. Mmm, that looks like a bowl of cereal. Well, it's more like one of those cereals from that movie Friday <laughs> with water. <laughs> It's such a funny movie. And we're just gonna set this to the side while we go over the rest of our ingredients. Guajillo and ancho chili. Sometimes you're gonna find that ancho chile is also pasilla. So if you see ancho or pasilla, you're good to go. If for some reason you only have access to guajillo, go ahead and add two extra chilies for more flavor. But just like this, make sure that you open them up and remove all the seeds. Mexican oregano, ground cumin, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, ground clove, the spice, and bay leaves. Your choice of a neutral flavored oil, veggie bouillon cubes, but you can use whatever veggie broth, veggie seasoning. It's gonna be up to you, the one that you wanna flavor this with, okay friends? So don't feel limited if you don't have this exact ingredient. Whatever you have in your pantry that's been working for you, use that one. Corn tortillas, shredded cabbage, and pickled onions. Now, if you don't have a preference for cabbage, you can use lettuce. And for our cheesy topping, or a vegan cotija, we're gonna use some cashews, and some nutritional yeast. This brand, the Cal brand, is my favorite, and up and running, which is very, very similar, is gonna be the Red Mill. Mm. I love cashews. Let us know if you love cashews. After 10 minutes, you're gonna notice that your soy crumbles have hydrated. Now it's time to strain so that we can dry them out. Yeah, hydration to dry them out. I'll show you in just a second. Right after I strain the soy crumbles, I run a little bit of water through them just so that we can get that processed flavor out and that's the purpose of hydrating and allowing all the flavors that we want to put into here instead of keeping those processed packaged ones. Just press it down until you get them uh, a little bit drier, okay? We don't want them to be super soaked and saturated. Set your pan on a medium heat and we're gonna roast some peppers, okay? We don't want them to be super charred because these dried chilies burn easily, so you're gonna have to start taking them out as soon as you see them uh, char a bit. Now, for our ancho chile, you're gonna see it puff, puff up because it's so dry, so we just want it to get nice and soft so we can remove the seeds and the stem, and then we're just gonna boil them. It smells delicious in here, friends, and when you start seeing that 
your peppers are roasted we're gonna add these to the water these have a little bit to go it shouldn't take any more from a minute to two to get this part done as you can see our chiles have puffed up I'm just gonna slice through them remove the seeds and then we're gonna drop them into our pot of boiling water We're going to continue to boil our chiles for another five to eight minutes. Once you see that they've softened up, that means that they're ready to come out of this pot and into your blender. After about eight minutes, you have soft chiles. Take them out and add them to your blender. Your veggie bouillon and your plate of seasonings. Don't get too fancy in your house. Just put all your seasonings on a plate and boom, boom, go. Unless it has to be itemized. It'll be a lot easier, friends. But I know you guys like to get fancy. So do we. I blend it at a minute on a speed eight i slowly eased up but we were blending mostly on a number eight friends and your consistency should be smooth if you're using a regular blender not the vitamix make sure you blend your chilies and the water on its own strain the chili and then add your seasoning to it friends this is optional but i know a lot of you are watching your sugars so it's going to be up to you. I'm going to add some sugar to balance out all those delicious seasoning and flavors that we have going on. Add your oil. And since I'm going to make that whole pack, you're going to notice that I used a little bit more oil, but this is great because after you make this, you can keep this in your refrigerator and that can be your protein for the week. Once your oil gets hot, you're going to add your soy crumbles. Start tossing your soy crumbles so that it can coat completely with that oil we have at the bottom. We've got it under control, okay? Over. Over. <laughs> you understand my voice is that you know who I'm trying to be. I got it. That's how I feel when I talk to everybody on Instagram. Uh -huh. Like if I have a walkie-talkie and I'm talking to my yes. friends, that's how I feel. We used to love that walkie-talkie life. We still do. We have a similar one here in the house. We do. The intercom? Yeah, the intercom. We do it all the time. We're going to continue to cook our soy crumbles until they're a little bit crispy, not completely. So keep your heat on a medium heat and come and stir periodically. Remember, you don't want to burn the crumbles. We just want to fry them up a little bit. Give them a good bite. Well, yeah, we're going to give it a good bite, but we want that bite to be like the best protein bite that you've taken. I'm still here stirring periodically and you're going to see that some of the soy looks like wet flour. When it looks like wet flour like this, you want to cook it a little bit longer. We want it to look more like this side evenly on both sides. So just keep stirring every so often, about every 30-40 seconds, come back and stir. After 8 to 10 minutes, we're going to get the consistency that we're looking for. And at that moment, you want to sprinkle a little bit of salt. And by a little bit of salt, I mean a little bit less than one-fourth of a teaspoon. Mix your ingredients. And right after we're done mixing, we're going to add our sauce. Brace yourselves. It's going to get loud. Or steamy. Or both. And I'll be here to capture the moment. <laughs> we count with you sometimes, girl. I 
I still have a little bit of my chili water left. I'm gonna pour some in here, mix it around and get all of that flavor. It smells so good in here. <laughs> yeah. Friends, this is going to be an optional step. Some of you told me there is no vegan butter. Uh, I've been using Earth Balance for a lot of years. I'm familiar with it. And this step is going to be optional. I just want to let you guys know that we're not sponsored, probably because they know the Views Club. We like to eat and we need to have, you know, enough vegan butter for everybody else out there in the world. <laughs> Somos comelones, which means foodies. Okay. So now I'm going to drop a little bit of butter for flavor and also for that fat content that chilorio tends to have naturally. Vegan butter sticks. Yummy. <laughs> Let's all go to the market. Let's all go to the market. <laughs> oh, I want to go to the drive-in. So much fun. I do too. I want a bean burrito though. I don't think I'm gonna go to the to the lobby girl. My favorite is some of the style bean burritos, so thin ones, small, mm. wrapped tightly. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, girl. Mm. Friends, in order to get the flavor that you want from this soy chilorio, you're gonna have to cook this for a minimum of 20 minutes on a medium to a medium low heat, okay? You don't want it to burn, so you do have to come periodically and stir it around but a minimum of 20 minutes in order to achieve those smoky, delicious flavors that we're looking for and that we all love in Chilorio, okay? And after about 20 minutes, you're gonna notice that the flavors that come out of your Chilorio are just something that you've never had before. You guys are really gonna be shook with this one, but you wanna make sure you have a few of the bottom ones that are crispy like this. You wanna balance between soft and chewy texture yet also have some that have the crisp on the outside so you have the best bite of that taco or your protein whether you put this on rice or you guys decide to use this uh, protein for something else now it's time to warm up our tortillas i'll meet you guys on the island so we can get a tasting if i could stop munching we're doing the same. This is optional. I have some cashews that help with depression along with many other things. And I'm gonna add some nutritional yeast and by some, I mean a lot. So use it sparingly or make it comfortable for your home. Nice and B12 in the house. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now I'm just gonna blend this really quick so that we can sprinkle it on top of our tacos. Add your tortilla, your desired amount of chilorio. I'm so excited, friends, for you to try this. There is no reason why you need to have flavorless proteins, I'm telling you. Sprinkle your cabbage, pickled onions, and if they look super pink, it's because they've been in the fridge for two days. Look at how beautiful that is. I know, who's tempted to drink that juice? Mm. <laughs> and now we're gonna use some of our cheese blend, our fake cotija. Fake, girl. Nothing those fake are, about this. This those is are delicious. All really ingredients. Amazing ingredients. Veggie friends, you know what I'm talking about with that nutritional yeast and these cashews. It's on point. And boom, done. Who's ready for a taste? Sounds good to me. Oh, yeah. Before you give your closing, you know what you need to say. I'm ready. Hold on, let me stop laughing. <laughs> friends, I stand corrected. Um, over here, Master Ugwe was correct about thinly sliced potatoes. I want you guys to know that yesterday's video, not only was my uh, wording misspelled from autocorrect horrible, 
along with some of the description area in many of my videos. And I should say our videos, but I'm responsible for the typos and <laughs> apparently misinforming you about thin versus thick. They slice potatoes. Yeah, te gustó? You forgot one thing, you didn't call me a master. I did, I said master Uwe. You just said Uwe. I said master. Okay, give me a shout out in your closing. Now, oh, oh, wait. Okay. Give your closing. All right, friends, watch this. As always, Views Club and Bell Notification Squad, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. And before we go, I want to give a special shout out to Master Cloud for getting it right on the thinly versus thick sliced potatoes. Woo! Love that one? <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Say ah. Ah. Oh, you said ah yeah. today. Oh, Cloud's in. Cloud's liking this. I do. I love these. Yummy. Vamos a hacer yummy. You see, guys, how I folded that into a cone? Nice. It's ready. It's, it's cone Monday. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really big taco. It's going to be a delicious taco. Girl. It's so good, right? Mm, 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 mm. Oh, you guys see all that red sauce? Let me tell you, you're not going to miss a thing. This is so, so, so good. Because you don't want to close your, your eyes. eyes. You, you don't, don't want to fall asleep. Rosie. <laughs> Rosie, go on, Rosie. Okay. <laughs> you heard me singing. And then, Rosie, let go. I don't know, this is sexy to me. This what? vegan taco is showing off. It's showing off. Friends, I don't want you feeling left out on Taco Tuesday. We got this. Let's finish this taco. Can you address the rumors on the instant pot beans? What? The thug beans? Not the not the gangster beans. The instant pot beans. Will they be coming on the channel anytime soon? And why are you making the good people wait? Okay, I'll bring them in a bonus recipe either this week or next week. It's because the kids are in school in the beginning semesters of school. We're more occupied, but I'm gonna make it work for you guys. And the fact that we have been making beans almost every day using different brands, <laughs> we're all beaned out for you. It's coming soon. I have a strategy to make them work every time, but let's get back to these tacos, friends. When you're gonna eat this taco, I want you to smell after you warm up your tortilla and you add all your ingredients. I want you to smell these tacos. And I want to know which one of you is going to open your first restaurant selling these tacos. Make sure to tag us on our social media. Because you know we're active there and we love you. Yes, Cloud and I just giggle and giggle. Thank you guys so much for sharing the babies with us. Reese Club Junior, I absolutely adore you. You make my world go round and round and my heartbeat. That's right. Kids rule. Bye guys. We love you and take good care of one another. And I'm gonna take care of you, Taquito. Thank you. It's so good, friends. Mm. I'm gonna take this piece. Okay. Yes? You're in his uh, uh, nah. No. Okay. Soy el Capitán Obvio. Hey. I said Captain Obvio. Uh -huh. Wow, mija, look at that size, dude, de Halloween. Uh -huh. O sea, me voy a poner tu cara. O sea, te vas a poner, Captain te vas a poner Capitana Obvio. No, la capitana obvio. 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 <laughs> okay. Me, me, me te saca. Sa, sa, sa te me te. Eh, 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 uh, uh. I felt like you were going to say sacate el cloche or something. Oh my like, god. Me te saca, you know? Because my sweats are But tight. isn't the cloche from when you're driving the car? Es el cloche, pero tienes que hacer. Ah, el el and since my sweats were tight, I thought that's what you were referring to. 
Ay, no, yo no soy tan corriente. <risa> Alright, alright, alright. Vamos al baño, manita. Te hace, alright, 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 alright. Hey, Como la boca. ¿Qué no sé? You gotta oh, shake it. Right. Plant-based protein. A little very traviesa with the outfit. Oh, because I'm cozy bear? Mm -hmm. No, you just look like a traviesa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I'm the cozy, it's over. Anything goes. Oh. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> when you try your best, but you don't succeed. When you get what you want. No, me hace llorar, me hace llorar el coco. Still a king river. And now, some of our. <laughs> some of our, some of our, some of our. Some of our. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't know either, girl. We felt it. We went with it.